All right, guys, I'm gonna try something different this time around. I'm gonna take these um, oil tubes. These are the, um, the infamous oil tubes that blow their caps out on most W140s slash C140s. So what I'm gonna do is, <clears throat> excuse me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to repair these. Obviously these are shot already. I've replaced, I've replaced these already on my C140 with the metal ones. I haven't done the other, um, I did all four of them, but I haven't done the other ones. Um, I can't do my math right now. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm, I'm gonna fill this in right here. I'm gonna melt this right here. I'm gonna be using um, this plastic roller right here. I got my um, my iron heating up already. It's been heating up for like five minutes already. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt this right here, melt this around, then I'm gonna start hitting it with some plastic filler. This is the filler that comes with this um, kit right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt it, weld it all together right here. Then I'm gonna plug one end up. I'm gonna put a air hose on the bottom. Very, very light pressure. You don't have to blow the whole thing apart. And to maybe throw some soapy water up front to see if it, um, if it holds. I think it's gonna hold. I haven't seen anyone else on YouTube do something like this. So I also have, um, I have another set here, a whole complete set here. I got it from one of the members of the um, on the uh, on Facebook, one of the uh, Mercedes clubs, and um, I got all 16 of them. Obviously, you want to clean the ends off, get the oil off. So I'm gonna clean it with um with some CRC. This is pretty good on plastic. So all these are fine, and all these um, ends I've blown off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just lightly weld around here around the edge over here all around and keep this cap from blowing out what happens is the uh, the adhesive the light adhesive that comes with these from the factory they wear out in time with the heat all the years this is probably like maybe 20 22 years old so i'm going to repair this i'm going to weld it around here and that hopefully that's going to hold it in permanently so i'm going to repair this one right here all right so using my um, torch right here Obviously, I can't do this with one hand, so what I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to start um, putting the torch to it right here, the iron. You can see it already, it's already starting to melt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add filler on top of this and fuse, and fuse both ends together with this filler and the uh, tube right here. So hopefully that's going to blend in, it's all going to melt together, then it's all going to fuse and become one. But like I said, I can't do it with one hand, so i got to drop the camera down and um, show you afterwards how I um, fuse it together. Alright, so here it is. It's not the prettiest thing, like I said, this is something that's gonna go inside the engine underneath the valve cover. And I can't stress this enough, this is just a temporary fix until you order your, yourself a new set. This is in case these things just randomly decide to go bad. You can be just out there just washing your car and letting it idle, whatever, and all of a sudden you hear that that tapping, meaning that the uh, cap blew off on one of your um, oil tubes. So this will hold you down until um, you get a new set. I've done it before. I did a I did this cat's car out in Connecticut, and it's going on probably 10 years, and he still has the same car, same oil tubes in it, and um, he's still using the same oil tubes that I welded just like this. Um, I haven't like again I haven't seen any of this on YouTube being done on YouTube, and I know there's gonna be some people that are gonna frown down on this. They're gonna have their put their two cents in it. You know a bunch of um harbor freight warriors and stuff like that but um it is what it is man you know what i mean so <clears throat> but i'm not gonna use these right here obviously these are all blown out already i'm not even gonna waste my time these are the ones that i'm gonna repair well i'm, I'm just gonna keep them from popping out again like i said before i'm gonna just weld the ends right here see look see where the cap meets right the cap meets the uh, tube i'm gonna fuse both those parts together and just call it a day all these um all these tubes are gonna get new o-rings i already ordered them this should be in by saturday if not monday tuesday the latest so um we'll see what happens all right so here's the uh one of these guys right here as you can see the cap is still on so i'm gonna try to weld see that cap right there at the end and the body i'm gonna try to fuse those two together won't won't take much just enough to fuse them together to keep them from um keep that cap from popping out right but like I said I can't do this with um with one hand while I'm holding the camera all right here this is all you have to do you don't have to get all retarded with it just do two ends two sides right here like this side right here this side right here it makes perfect sense because um this is plastic 
the cap is plastic so all you're doing is um it's just fusing both of them together you you welding them with the uh, plastic wall that's what this is for weld them both together they're perfectly fused if you want to do the other two sides you can do that too or if you want to fill the whole thing all around you can do that too like i did the other one but this is going to be enough this will hold it in this thing will this thing will never blow out of here all right so i'm going to go ahead and do the uh, do the other um the other 15 pieces there all right so all 16 tubes are done like i said they don't have to look beautiful they just have to be functional the uh, end caps on the bodies are already permanently fused. I don't know how much oil pressure goes through it, but it's very little. I don't know offhand, but it's very little. So you don't have to worry about these tubes popping out. Again, this is my hack. I'm not telling anyone else to go out and do it. I've been doing this for years. I did this about 10 years ago to uh, another um, S500 up in Connecticut. And the owner still has the car to this day. And we trip about it when we talk on the phone about it. So. right there so again this is my hack it's no biggie if you get aroused by it that's on you there's gonna be a lot of naysayers out there a lot of people that talk a lot of smack but it is what it is man it doesn't matter see you later yeah.